Some folks in a New Haven neighborhood want to put a stop to speeders by putting up a stop sign. News Channel 15's Elizabeth Fields went to check out the area for herself and joins us now from News Control. Well, Heather, I can see why people out there might be upset. The speed limit is 25 and I got passed by people going 45 easily. But it's not as easy to get a stop sign put up as you might think. And there goes a speeder right now. Christopher Stein has lived at the corner of Brookwood and Circle Way for nearly five years and says the speeding is getting worse. It's very hard to get in and out of your driveway. Um, I have been passed on this road trying to get home at 25 miles an hour. He says he's seen four accidents in front of his house so far this year. And after the last accident, we thought it would be best to put a three-way stop right there to slow things down. When I talked to the engineering department today, the director told me he's not interested in putting a stop sign here because they're not used to control speed. He says that's what police are for. This year we have uh, made 47 traffic stops on Brookwood Drive. Police Chief Stephen Pori says he knows all about the concerns, so just last week he started putting officers specifically on patrol there during the day. So far we've had nine officers that have called out special assignments over there, and as a result six uh, violators have been stopped by the police. Stein says it's not enough, so he started a petition and posted his own sign, which was vandalized yesterday. It seems everyone involved wants to keep people safe, it's just they have different ideas about how to do it. You, you could have other areas of the city that also have uh, concerns about speeders. We don't want to be just putting up stop signs to be putting up stop signs. Now, the city engineer told me that he has to follow specific rules and guidelines through INDOT to, before they put out signs, and he says that according to those rules, this intersection just doesn't qualify. Stein, on the other hand, plans to take his petition to city council. Elizabeth Fields, News Channel.